Hold on a sec. I'll get you out of there. Ah. Let's hope this still works. Stand back. Here goes. Oh, wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than I am. Dad are up north at an old missile base. I hope they're still using this frequency. They're trying to help launch a... Ah, here we go. Damn. What now? Hmm. If I were to... Hmm. Let me see if I can get it working again. a while. Hey, if you have any blinding insights into how to fix this, go for it. Not sure what I did, but it worked. Now, to check in. White Forest! White Forest, this is Alex Vance. Do you read? White Forest, come in. White Forest, are you there? Alex! My goodness! Is that really you? Yes, and Gordon too. We're okay. We made it out of City 17. <sighs> Alex, thank God. I can hardly believe it. Don't worry, Dad. We're fine. But something really strange is happening with the Citadel. Oh, yes. We've been monitoring the situation. The raw discharge of the meltdown has been focused into a coherent beam of portal energy. It's the Combine. They're trying to open another gateway. Yes. What you're seeing is the infancy of a super portal. If it attains full strength... It'll be the seven-hour war all over again. Except this time we won't last seven minutes. My God. Gordon, what if that's why they were sending so much data from the Citadel? So that... Data? From the Citadel? In the control room. They were feeding huge volumes of data directly into the core destruction sequence. Magnus, did you hear that? I'll bet it's the Combine Portal Code. Yes, yes, I'm not deaf. I downloaded the whole packet. They've been chasing us ever since. Well, of course they have. 
You see, Kleiner, it's the linchpin of all of their plans. Well, I can see that. I never Somewhere said... Somewhere in that sequence, they would have had to establish a connection with the far side. What you have there, young lady, is the specific contact code for the Combine overworld. Good God. Now, if I am right about this, and I have no reason to doubt myself, you are carrying the very code Dr. Mossman had hoped to recover. Now, how soon can you get here? Well, we'll have to get our bearings, but we can definitely... There is no time to waste. We'll need to step up the launch schedule. Now, as soon as you get here with the signature data, we'll encode the satellite and get the damn thing into orbit. Get here as quickly as you can, you two. I am pleased to see at least you are unharmed. But the Alex Vance, her condition is grave. Healing her will require more than I alone can conjure. Let's go.
said he was on the way. Dr. Freeman, Alex Vance is over here. The board's trying to patch her up. <sighs> Freeman. It is well. The Alex Vance clings to the margins. My kin are still some distance away. 
for now, we must not be disturbed. Yeah, well, about that. As long as you're down here, Freeman, maybe you can give us a hand. Let me show you. Got some supplies over here if you need them. Health and ammo, that sort of thing. Let's move. We have to defend the board. One tunnel. Dr. Freeman, you take care of the turrets. Freeman, the things were pretty quiet until you showed up. Swarm at 24! Come on, come on, let's go! I'm coming, I'm coming!
Get it. We got the breach. Hey, Doc, you cover 24. Oh, God, they're coming from everywhere. 112.
to the Annex. are grave. This will necessitate deep submersion in the Vortex Indeed. We require the larval extract. Mm. Oh, yes. The extract. extract. Yes. Agreed. I will make the journey to seek the extract deep within the nest in the sacred nectarium. But I cannot hope to bring it back alone. We must remain to keep the Alex Vance alive. Please, Freeman, join me. Yes, take yes. 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 There is no final Next companion. Soul. Well stated.
so that he may proceed to death. Ah, a person in the dignity of swords and fancies. Pity the generator that requires a fortify. Promises to seize you in this hand to fight the tax. If the free men is in agreement, let us find our way into that vibratory hate.
Preserve how they fight on. Heedless my escape. Well, this is all very amusing. But we must not forget the gravity of our errand to heal the outsiders.
Secretions of the finest quality. Let us return now to the Alex As we imbibe the extra. Yes. A human is needed. Agreed. Join us, Freeman. We weave the Freeman's life. Because, yes, there is a quickening. Hope's portal is bound between. Freeman. I realize this moment may not be the most convenient for a heart to heart, but I had to wait until your friends were otherwise occupied. There was a time they cared nothing for Miss Vance, when their only experience of humanity was a crowbar coming at them down a steel corridor. When I plucked her from Black Mesa, I acted in the face of objections that she was a mere child and of no practical use to anyone. I have learned to ignore such naysayers when quelling them was out of the question. Still, 
I am not one to squander my investments. And I remain confident she was worth far more than the initial appraisal. That's why I must now extract from you some small repayment owed for your own survival. See her safely to White Forest, Dr. Freeman. I wish I could do more than keep an eye on you, but I have agreed to abide by certain restrictions. Well, now listen carefully, my dear. When you see your father, relay these words. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. She's dead. Her vital form has regained integrity. We have a very immeasurable loss. Oh, God. Lie still. Oh. Oh, my God. I thought... I thought for sure I was dead. The Combine Hunters caused traumatic injury. A hunter. So that's what it was. We knit shattered bone and restored circulatory integrity. Yet it was a free man who retrieved her vortescence. Yeah, that's Gordon. How long have I been out? A matter of hours. Hours? Ugh. We've got to get moving. A moment longer. But we have to get to White Forest. It's vital. No fear. We will put you on the right road. Now, try carefully to rise. Whoa. I don't know what you did, but I have a feeling I'm lucky to be here. Come then. I will get you on the path to White Forest. Come on, Gordon. Next to me. We will continue our hunt for advisors. Farewell. Go safe. Travel well. Good luck out there. Okay, Freeman. Be adequate. What the hell does that mean, anyway? I don't know. Sounds like something the Vorch would say. I think I can walk on my own now. Let me give it a shot.
more help. I'm still a little weak. Well done, Freeman. Freeman, you dispatch those guards with great dispatch. Come now. The vehicle we seek is in the encampment above. This lift will carry us to where the vehicle awaits. Puzzling. The sentries should have spotted us by now. You think the Combine found them? Such a theory is hardly far-fetched. Oh God. The Combine found them all right. But came to no good end themselves. Headcrabs have had their way with both parties. <laughs> Look, out on that bridge. I think I see the car you were talking about. It appears they attempted an escape, but made it no farther than the abyss. Well, if they got it over there, maybe we can jump it back to this side. We recommend the Freeman for this task. Hey! I'm feeling a lot better. That condition will not last long if you plunge into the toxins below. We would do well to lend our protection from above, while Freeman skirts the hazards in the pit. This mounted gun may prove useful. The gun would appear to be powerless. Go, Freeman. I will look after the Alex Vance. Well, Gordon, I guess it's all up to you. Here, I'll get this field down.
God. Look at this car. Scored. Shotgun. Oh. Unless you want it. I fear a more urgent errand demands our attention. There are advisors yet unhinged. We'll keep on the lookout. This road will take you near White Forest. But be wary that others may use it as well. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Our bonds are of nature and require no gratitude.
Take a detour. Tower. If it's working, we need to send a warning to White Forest. They've got no idea the Combine's heading their way. I'll wait here. Nobody's home. Wonder how long it's been deserted. They must have a transmitter in one of these buildings. Keep a lookout while you poke around inside. Gordon, 
It's on the roof. Probably a scouting party. Let's go find out what we just powered up. I sure hope it was a transmitter. Here it is. Okay. Uh, the signal's really weak. Well, let's give it a try. White Forest, come in. White Forest, do you read? White Forest, do you read? This is White Forest. Identify yourself. This is Al Alex. Alex Vance? Where are you? I expected you hours ago. Well, we had a bit of a setback. Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? The survival of Earth depends on the data you yes, carry. Yes, I know. But the Combine, they're heading your way. What? What's that? What? You're heading our way? Well, I should hope so. Not what? Us. What was that? The Combine. You're breaking up, Alex! What? What? Crap. I wonder if we got any of that. Let's get back on the road. Here, let me open the gate. Let's keep going. See if we can pick up the road somewhere ahead. I know that peak. You can see it from White Forest. <laughs> We're heading the right way. Yes.
There it is again. You're all right. The thing was hurt. Did you see it? I can only imagine what it would have done if. Uh oh. Autonomous unit subsumed. Sounds like it called its friends. Soldiers! Threat level adjustment. Probe. Expunge.
the car. Moving. We should keep moving. Since you brought that chopper in on your tail, you want to maybe help us take it down? Oh, with pleasure. Take it down!
Boy, are we glad to see you guys. Huh. That was amazing. <laughs> the way you threw their minds right back at them. Well, I could sure use a drink. Who's with me? We need to get back on the road, but our engine's shot to hell. I don't suppose you got any tools for working on cars. Tools? <laughs> got a whole shop over here. Come on, we'll get you set up. Kidding. We'll be back on the road in no time. Well, that could be a problem. You hear that auto gun going off out there? We normally run supplies out of the White Forest base, but a few days ago the Combine cut off access. Zombies coming out of city centers and kept them pinned down. It's just a matter of time till the troops start pushing this way. If you think you're up to it, we'll let you out there. He's always up for it. Right, Gordon? We got a trap door up here where I can let you over to the other side. That way you'll get to see the gun before it sees you. Good luck taking out that auto gun.
ready. Come on back and we'll get going. Look Thanks out. for clearing out the yard, gentlemen. Come on, boy. Not only did they help me fix the car, they threw in a bonus. Special this week only. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We've hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. So keep an eye out. When you see your dashboard light up, you're gonna want to stop and investigate. I'll fill you in on the road, Gordon. Thanks again, you guys. going off, Gordon.
There's the power source for the shields. Huh. I haven't skimped on security either. Let me see if I can disable the shields and get you closer to the reactor. Okay, it looks like I can open them from here, but I won't be able to come in with you. Here goes. <sighs> Sorry, Gordon. This thing's fried. Since I can't help you in there, why don't I just walk outside? Prizes for one day. Let's hope there's no more combine between here and White Forest. Stay with the car. Doesn't sound good. Over there! I see an antenna. Huh, I think that's White Forest. Well, we're close enough to make it the rest of the way on foot if we have to.
Are you all right? Wake up, dog. Please. <laughs> You're all right. You had me worried there. Everything working all right? Good. You all right down there? We're fine. Is dog okay? Better now. We've been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there. You can't miss it. All right. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Come on, Gordon. Get the car and we'll jump it out to a race. Good boy. Looks like we need your help again. Would you mind? Way to go, boy! Okay, dog. Race you to the base! <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. Gordon Freeman. Well, you won this time, dog. Let us in. Yo, let him through. Thanks. We had a feeling you were close when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Hello, Dr. Freeman. What the hell, Gordon Freeman?
Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we, uh, keep Dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, Dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in silo one access unit, right through here. Shall we? You smell I don't feel anything anymore. Oh no, what's that? All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the okay, secondary dog. silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. So. Have you ever used an AR-2 before? Hey! Gordon! Man, you made it! Dad! Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know, for sure. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? going to be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for it. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner. Are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the law to make time for a family reunion? All right. all right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... No, no, no. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruptions? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Huh. 
false alarms all day. Damn crows nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary side. Attention personnel, this is Dr. Magnuson. Since the secondary silo staff seem incapable of solving their little crow problem, you will be happy to hear we have put the popular Dr. Freeman on the job. We all look forward to his remedy, and I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience.
silo Gordon. has been sealed. Thank goodness well, you're okay. Back to work. Phew. Glad that's over. We couldn't get in till you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Incredibly true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Dad? Yes, Alice. Is everything okay? We'll head right over. Freeman! The Freeman must follow. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judy headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. I'm fairly sure I've pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact, or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work, if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short, we may have been spotted. We should never have let her go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. It's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catcher. It'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the Combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. Not again. I can't let it happen again. Not another black mess. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a... Hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, keep an eye on him. 
we're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. It's all right, honey. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later, Gordon. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What did you say? Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Now go ahead and take the device out of the dispenser. That's right. Toss it at the main... There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah... Send the target to the far end of the rails. Very well. Try it now. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Hey, 
Dr. Freeman, over here. I've taken a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gang's up north of the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. the sawmill at the far end of the valley. Perimeter's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. Dr. Freeman. So, they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the point of the south. One good shot at the silo, a whole lot to the point of the south. And these striders are on the way south. In case they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Attention! Uh -oh. North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider <laughs> approaching from the cranes. Defensive position. Go.
fighter coming from the crane.
was the last one. Wait a minute. Get ready, everyone. We've spotted drop ships carrying even more Striders. We have about a minute before they hit, so gear up. This is gonna get ugly before it's over.
Attention! Attention! The Striders have been defeated! All personnel return to base immediately! Repeat! All personnel return to base immediately! They have a target at the Magnus! Take out the Hunters! Hey! Gordon Freeman! Wow, Gordon! You were amazing out there! its final stages. The portal's close to opening, but Dr. Magnus is sure will be in time to stop. Complete. Tracking beacon. Oh, there's another bit of cruft we can ignore. Support equipment power down. Hold on a moment, Kleiner. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? What this one? Flight termination system? Well, here we are again. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's with intolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling. We're back. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold up Dog, a second. Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're going to miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done for Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now, when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about.
Alex, Dude, look at the portal. This has to work. We've activated the resonator. This is it. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. We did it! We did it, Gordon! We sure as hell did. And not a moment too soon. I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Well, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh, no. Dad! Gordon! Help! Ah! Dad! Alex! Dad! Oh, my God. 